Shoutouts to Harvey Tomta because he asked me to shout him out, and technically that too is a question, and I'm answering it by shouting him out. And <laughs> wow, off to a great start. Anyways, how y'all doing? It's Here Goes Nothing, and for my 1,000 subscribers special, I'll be answering all the questions and comments that were submitted to my Q&A that I made the other day. Now, as I mentioned in my first ever community post, which is also available to me now because I reached 1,000 subs, I got pretty sick earlier from some uh, springtime allergies, so all my plans for YouTube and stuff had to be moved down a bit. I also put a little poll in it for fun, if you guys want to vote in the poll. There'll be a link to the post in the description. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get to reading some comments. Before we get into the actual questions, let's just have a look at a few of the comments that aren't questions. Guys, the legend is alive from Pies Things. Ayo, hey, thanks, man, for considering me a legend. I always thought you needed to have at least 52 trillion subscribers to be even considered popular, so it means a lot to me. Also, I like the guy on your profile picture. Fantastic hair. Happy 1K, my guy, from Z713. That's a great friend of mine. He also asked me a question, but we'll save that for later. Happy 1K, nothing. N nothing? Oh my god. <sighs> ZD, I know I made a video with you before, but the word here goes nothing is a made up compound word and not a sentence. I'm not saying here goes to a guy named nothing. And if I was talking about a guy named nothing, I'd capitalize the end like I am in the closed captions. Did you really think my name was nothing and my username was here goes nothing as a reference to myself? Dude, you already know what my real name is. Why would I call myself nothing? Nothing isn't my name. You know that. Nothing is just my slang pronunciation of the word nothing because of my New York accent. How many more people are going to question the meaning of my username? It's not that hard. Anyways, thank you ZD for shouting me out. Greatly appreciated. Alright, so Jake Lee asked me a bunch of questions that I think might be common, but there are also some really good questions that I think I'll save for last. So I'll go through some of his first. How do I make my intros? Well, if the veterans on my channel remember, I took an animated text field on PowerDirector with my name on it and changed the default colors to my liking. Then I tried finding a nice song on no copyright sounds that not only sounds good but doesn't have that many views so it won't sound like it's overused. And I synchronized one of its drops with the appearance of the animated text field and I also grabbed a song that I loved listening to on no copyright sounds for my outro. But I was more a fan of songs with no lyrics, so I swapped out Shining by Roy Knox and Shadows by It's Different and Miss Mary for New World by Kira and Spoil by Brick. Jake Lee also asked if I could make a tutorial on how I make these tournaments. Lots of other people asked me similar questions. Now, I always considered making tutorials, and I want to make one, but first I'll have to finish the Stick Notes tournament finale and uh, all the other stuff I wanted to finish, so maybe I'll make one in the future. Toxin Antidote was one of the many who asked me about making a tournament tutorial, but he also asked me if I could make more tournaments like the ones I've already posted. And my answer to this is yes, I will. I plan on making a few much later from now, and the Stick Notes tournament finale is also a tournament in itself, and here's the chart for it. But back to Jake Lee. He asks, if you can't make a tutorial, can you make a speed animation of every fighter's power instead? And what's interesting about this is that I was actually making an animation that was never posted that showed what each fighter's special move could do. Maybe I could finish it and show it to you guys later. Any tips for new animators? Rice's Mix asked me a similar question. I'm going to be honest, I put a disclaimer in my tournament finale that I haven't posted yet saying that I animate for fun. And it's not really like my big thing, but I do do it enough to share advice about it. And my advice is be ready. Animating something could take longer than you think, so patience is key. Can I make stick figures? Yes, and that's because I have made some. But all the original stick figures that I've made and used on the channel, like the one for H or the Here Goes Not In logo, aren't on the download page of the Stick Nodes website, so you'll have to try and find a way to make those yourself. It's super easy though, and I might show how I did it later. I just have to find a way to record the screen of the mobile device that I animate on. Another example of a stick figure I made is the one on Z713's profile picture. It's supposed to be him. He's another one of my good friends. Also, I'll let y'all in on a secret. His stick figure will be seen in some other animations in the future. Ooh. Jake Lee asked many more questions that disregard animating, so we'll get back to the rest of those later. 
Diamond Animations asks why I used a small FPS in the fish video. Well, hold on, the, the fish video was not made with stick nodes, so it doesn't count as an animation. Like I said before, I animate occasionally, but I do other stuff too. Pies thinks is back, and he asks what FPS and tween frames I animate at. In the tournament series on my channel so far, I've animated at 4 FPS and 8 frames tweened. I explained what this and what tweening is for all you non-animators in a video I made called New Stuff. Link at the end of the video. However, the Stick Notes tournament finale will be animated at 5 FPS with 8 frames tweened, so stuff will move noticeably quicker. Flash Anime Toins says, Okay, here goes nothing- Oh. <laughs> Okay, this one actually hurts because he mispronounced it twice. Anyways, he says, oh, so this isn't a question. He actually has some tips for me. Set tweening from 5 to 1. I never had it at 5, I had it at 8, but okay. To make anime toys smoother, start by adding a frame. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then you'll see something that says, add 50%. W wait, I, I use this. I use these for all of my slow-mo scenes. Here, play them. And extra credit to this scene in particular because it has three slow mo parts back to back. <laughs> But yeah, I already know about this. You're good, you're good, I got this. Koa loves Shroom. Oh, that's nice, I'll tell Shroom that, it'll make their day. Anyways, Koa, I'm assuming, asks if I schedule my videos or if I just make them off the top of my head. I'ma be honest, I kinda do both. It's random, but I definitely do more of one than the other. Fun Newbie and Marlon Tao ask which animating software I use. I use the Pro Edition of Stick Notes. I mean, it's in the name of my animation series. Animation City, one of my fans since the beginning. He asks if he can show me one of his tournaments. Sure, let's have a look. A few minutes later. Very interesting. I loved that. Super cool. And not a single frame of tweening needed. That's amazing. Because I use lots of tweening in my animations. But very good, very good. Flash Anime Toins is back with another tip. And he says to try adding floors. Okay, so usually in my animations, I just use the bottom of my screen as the floor. But this is a problem because if I wanted to make the screen shake, there'd be no visible surface underneath everyone. So I'll definitely have to fix that. I also forgot to add a floor in the Stick Nose Tournament finale. So you might start seeing one after that, I know, <laughs> bummer. Blake Animations says, Fun fact, my name is Blake too, as a reference to the blue guy in my animations. Another fun fact, this happened before, where the names of fighters matched the names of viewers. Another example of this was a guy who said his brother's name was Logan. Here's his comment. He said he was upset that his brother lost, and I told him it was a coincidence, though. These are two Logans we're talking about. I don't know the Logan he's talking about. Another example is Will, who I've purposely named after one of my friends. Two, actually. Wow. <laughs> I needed a second to think about it. I know lots of Wills. It's crazy. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Oscar on my first video. Some say his power is a reference to Za Warudo, and I'm pretty sure that's a JoJo thing, because um, I've heard of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure before. It's the thing where they, like, stop time and it goes... And I've actually used that sound effect in uh, Stick Notes Tournament 3 Part 3, where H had to put batteries in his TV remote to rewind time. I uh, think that was the sound I used then. I could be wrong. Have to check again. Yeah, I'm not into anime that much. The only two animes I watch are Pokemon and Here Goes Nothing Stick Notes Tournament. So uh, the rest of y'all say that Oscar could have easily won if he kept time stopped during the entire fight. 
And I mean, that's true, but he only fights the people that I give him to fight. So once he gets past Blake, he won't be able to fight anyone after that because I summon the fighters for them to duke it out. And well, I can't summon them if I'm frozen in time as well. Animate for Life thinks my favorite color is red because I let Ryan, the red fighter, win the first tournament. And this is actually wrong. I just haven't seen many tournaments where they let the red guy win. My favorite color is teal, which is actually almost the opposite of red, but okay. John asks if in a future part I can make the blue fighter really strong because he likes blue. Lots of us like the color blue actually, but if he's thinking about the same blue fighter I'm thinking about, then my man just predicted the future. Just a guy says that I should focus on moving the stick figure's entire body and not just one limb. I've read this comment before and as I'm making the finale I'm keeping that in mind. Thank you for telling me that. Ninja Viking Animations, I love that name, says, I can't believe I just realized that the names of the fighters start with the first few letters of their color. This is a form of figurative language called alliterations, and my family likes to use these so much. Wick says he'd give my animations an 8 out of 10. He says that he thinks they don't need any work, and I don't need any tips, and that I shouldn't listen to the ones who say they're bad because he can't see anything wrong with them. Now, while I'm glad he finds my content enjoyable and is defending me from haters that never really bothered me in the first place, but I still think it's important to take in advice from those who also have experience. Nonetheless, I do appreciate the fact that you like my animations. Puts a, puts a big smile on my face. Ultra Cat also has some tips for me. Use horizontal and vertical blur, but not at the same time. Okay. Don't use tweening. Mm, I'm not sure about that one. I might be stuck with tweening for a while. But in fight scenes, use 17 or 18 frames per second specifically. Okay, I might, uh, might test that out later and see how good it looks. Make sure to use the movie clips feature. Yes, I've heard quite a bit about this movie clip feature. It was uh, in addition to one of the more recent updates of stick notes. I'm still not completely sure how it works, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Anyways, thank you UltraCat for the tips. Lightning Anims 113 asks if I'll ever make Minecraft in stick notes. Now, if you're thinking I'm going to do it because of that one time I put Steve and a Creeper in 23 Part 1, those guys were just there for, uh, say, visual emphasis. SFG Animations has an idea for a new fighter. He says his name would be Jamie and he could have Earth Powers. Now, I've seen this comment before and I told him that I liked this idea, but every fighter's name alliterates to their color. And, well, we just went over what those were. But I told him I didn't know any colors that start with J, so he sent me this code for a hex color and... W w wait a second. Isn't that the... Isn't that the color of my hair? Because it, it is really close. Red X Animations says that my Stick Nose Tournament series would go in his top 10 best anime series. Series is. Series is. Series is. Series is, uh, is there a plural version of series or is it just series? Anyway, thanks a lot. I mean, I like to joke saying that, oh yeah, this is the best anime ever. But for someone else to actually think that, it's like. It's both weird and awesome at the same time. And. I can dig it. I totally dig it. Thanks a lot. He also asks how I get the stick figure on the screen to move to what I say, and uh, it's pretty easy. I just hopped on stick nodes and took five PNG pictures of H posing in different ways, then I sequenced the poses along with the dialogue so that it expressively synchronizes with the recorded voice clips I'm saying right now. And I'm sure lots of other people do this too. Oh, also, there are some people out there who wanted to do some animation collaboration with me. So far, I've seen two requests from guys named Super Wordwall and Malty Moose. And if there's anyone else out there who wants to collaborate with me, I just want to say that I like the idea of making animation collaborations with other animators on YouTube. But I just don't know how I'm going to pull it off. Unless you're one of my personal friends I could reach out to in a matter of days, but... I also worry that if said collabs could get in the way of plans and stuff that disregard my YouTube related activity altogether, so for the time being, I might have to say no to collabs with fans. Not just animating collabs, but collabs in general. And remember guys, it's not you, it's me. There's nothing wrong with you guys, y'all all talented and beautiful, it's just your boy's a little anxious about that topic, that's all.
Also, remember, I said for the time being, stuff might change in the future. We'll see, we'll see. Knock, knock, get the door. It's Jake Lee, and he's back with more questions about just YouTube in general. He asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good would I say I am? I'm assuming he's talking about, like, making YouTube videos and, like, running the channel and stuff. Now, see, I'd like to say that I'm not perfect at one thing. I'm okay with everything. So, I guess somewhere in the middle, like, 4, 5, or 6. Am I going to talk in more of my videos? I mean, I already do. It's just in some videos I choose not to because talking in them would mean I'd be forced to have this stupid watermark on my most prized possessions. Do I have any YouTube friends? Yes, I have some and they all run their own channels like the twins Epic Dares and Foxy Shark and another friend who goes by the name Fearless or ZD Games. Then there's Siren who runs the channel UA and BNHA which was formerly known as MTTS. There's also Def Gamer, who's awesome. He gave me some tips for video making, but he took down his channel, which was sad because he was doing better than I was. His channel peaked at roughly 700 subscribers before I was even in the hundreds. I wonder if his Twitch account still works. But there are other friends I've talked to about making YouTube channels, and who knows? They might start something in the future. I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know. Took way too long on that one, but moving on, Jake Lee asked me if I've ever considered collabing. Now, I was talking about collabing earlier, but there was one time I did collab with a close friend and um, post a video about it, and that was with ZD when we did a house building competition in Minecraft. I think it'd be cool to do more collabs with my friends, but at the moment, like I said earlier, I don't know what we do and where we get the time to pull it off, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. Jake Lee asked me a few more questions, but those are big questions, and I want to save them for last. My friend Lucas asks, when's the face reveal? This is my face. Ash and Fire Gaming recommended I try out Filmora 9, which is a video editing software. Never heard of it, but I'll do research. Harvey Tomta from way earlier is back, and he asks why people randomly dislike videos. I can answer this with a folktale. It's called Pleasing All the World, which is ironic because it's literally impossible to please all the world. And that's the point that the story's trying to make. I mean, someone's always going to find something wrong with someone. Either that or just because no one else did it yet. I don't know. Alright, so these were some of the big questions from Jake Lee's list of questions that I was talking about. And we're, we're going to go over them now. So the first one is, oh gosh, how old am I? Where am I from? And what do I like to do? Dear God, man, you sound like an FBI agent. Uh, well, let's let's put it this way. I'm a t I'm a teen. I'm in my teen years, and uh, I'm a New Yorker. I do not wish for my vocation to get any more specific than that. And I'd like to make stuff. It uh doesn't really matter what I make in particular. I mean, I made a channel. I made animations on the channel. I made a mistake in one of the animations, but made a storyline from it. I could keep going, but I probably shouldn't because for Jake Lee's last question he asked do I have plans for expanding my content and posting new topics to this my answer is absolutely I clearly put in the current about section on my YouTube channel's homepage that more videos on this channel are to come so don't think that one or two types of videos seen are all I make this channel is still a work in progress and when I said that I meant that there's a whole side of here goes nothing that's yet to be shared to the public I just have to find a way to be sure that my vulnerable creations will be protected from the wrong hands. I don't want to get too specific about all the stuff I hope to share, because then I might start getting big headed and I'll start bluffing, so you'll just have to wait and see. And that was the very last question, as of now, that there was to read. guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share more questions or comments that you want me to go over in a future video in the comment section of this video. If you like what you see, click the like button for me. It would help me a bunch if you subscribe to stay in touch. If you want to know when I post at the earliest time, click the bell to turn on notifications and I will stop the rhymes. Anyways, thanks once again for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all. This is Here Goes Nothing, signing out.